Welcome to Native California Spirit. My name is June Cooper, and today I'm going to do a focus single card earth medicine reading, card reading. I have already shuffled and cut and shuffled the deck three times, and I'm going to count down to card number 17. That is my choice. If I were doing this reading for you, you would choose any one of the cards between 1 and 44. This one is 17. Sixteen, seventeen, spider weaving, number 43. Key word here is opportunity. You're going to love this lesson. Great, great card. I love this card. Let's read our earth medicine lesson. All the way at the back, number 43. weaving webs of delight weave me a peaceful world carrying creation in your web waiting to be unfurled spider is female energy it is a she spider wove the web that brought humans the first picture of the alphabet the letters were part of the angles of her web deer asked spider what she was weaving and why all the lines look like symbols spider replied why, dear, it is time for Earth's children to learn to make records of their progress in their Earth walk. Dear answered Spider, but they already have pictures that show through symbols the stories of their experiences. Yes, Spider said, but Earth's children are growing more and more complex, and their future generations will need to know more. The ones to come won't remember how to read the petroglyphs. So it was that Spider wove the first primordial alphabet as she had woven the dream of the world that had become manifest. Spider's dream of the physical world had come to fruition millions of years before. Spider's body is made like the number eight, consisting of two globe-like parts connected at the waist and eight legs. Spider is the symbol for the infinite possibilities of creation. Her eight legs represent the four winds of change and the four directions on the medicine wheel. Spider weaves the webs of fate for those who get caught in her web and become her dinner. This is similar to humans who get caught in the web of illusion in the physical world and never see beyond the horizon into the other dimensions. The web of fate also represents a wheel of life, which does not include any alternatives or solutions. It is typically human to get caught in the polarity of good and bad without realizing that we can change it at any time. If we are not decisive enough about changing our lots in life or our fortune, we may end up being consumed by our fears and limitations. Spider is the female energy of the creative force that weaves the beautiful designs of life. Her web has hundreds of intricate patterns which catch the morning dew. Beautiful photographs. If Spider has dropped from her web into your cards today, and this was my reading, this was my card 17, so I am paying close attention, but you might also find this relevant to your world and your life. If Spider has dropped from her web into your cards today, she may be telling you to create, create, create. Look for new alternatives to your present impasse. She can also be warning you that you are coming too close to an entangling situation. Spider could be asking you to use a journal to write out and review your progress. If you do this, you will not forget how you are creating a new or different phase in your life. Spider brings a message of a different kind when she sees you becoming a bit too involved in the weaving of your life 
in your life plans to notice opportunity at the outskirts of your web. If this is the case, Spider, get your attention so that you notice that something you have woven has borne fruit. Congratulations! Spider caught you just in time before you miss the opportunity on the edge of your web of reality. The most important message from Spider is that you are an infinite being who will continue to weave the patterns of life and living throughout time. Do not fail to see the expansiveness of the eternal plan. Contrary Spider teaches us that Spider is akin to the negative side of woman. Spider will eat her mate if she gets too caught up in herself to see the validity of honoring male energy. The warrior at her side is a strong balancing force. If you have become disdainful of your mate, male or female, and have felt very superior recently, you are not honoring either your male or female side. And remember, we both have both male and female sides. It's the principle of gender. If you are not presently in a relationship, you may have chosen a member of your family or a workmate to harass. This type of negative criticism only breaks down relations and is a reflection of something you hate about yourself. If you are trying to feed your ego in this manner, you have lost the game. And remember, ego is what you think about yourself, who you think you are. It's a positive thing to have a positive self-image that is your ego. It's a negative thing if you are self self-loathing or as in this case that it, you are reflecting something that you hate about yourself. If you are trying to feed your ego in this manner you have lost the game. You are entangled in the web of your own illusion about who you really are. I have this in parentheses. This is a very important message to me in my life. As you grow older and you learn what to leave in and what to leave out. This sentence has helped me very, very many dozens of times. You are entangled in the web of your own illusion about who you really are. It may be time to look at why you are being critical and why you are feeling so weak that you must attack others. If this, this does not apply to your situation, Take a look at another message that Contrary Spider mes Medicine brings, lack of creativity. It's that simple. If you fail to use your talents to get the web spinning, your lack of creativity can change into destructiveness. If you are feeling stagnant and unable to move in a positive direction, you may come to resent others who are doing well. This resentment will become a black widow spider and eat you up and the only one to mourn your demise will be you. Get moving, find joy and new ideas in the accomplishments of others and use them to propel you into a new phase of creative spinning on your own web of delight. Make it yours. Observe Spider's Web and find pleasure in the ideas you receive from her universal language. This card is telling us that basically there's enough pie for everybody. There are infinite, infinite opportunities at the edge of your web. We all do this. We spin our lives. We get our routines down. We know our holidays, our birthdays, family reunions, all of it. It's all in a nice, tidy order. Spider is here to tell you that there is more. And not more things. There is more of you. There is more inside of you that is wanting to be born. It's wanting to come to fruition. 
These are things, dreams, thoughts you've had for years. And sometimes when somebody near you has a new project they're developing or a a side job. I ran into a person the other day that uh, works in a guard shack, but while he does it, he is making custom dog leashes for his internet business. Somebody outside of him inspired him. So look for inspiration in the ones around you. Don't be jealous. Don't be envious. Be grateful that they are there to motivate you. They are ordinary, just like you. So if they can do it, you can do it. And when I say it, I mean what is specific to your dreams. Let's take a look and see if there's anything else that... Well, this also talks about uh, feeling superior. And that never plays out well. You are not superior. You are the best at being you. Somebody else is the only one that is going to be best at being them. There is a best coach, a best teacher, a best businessman. All of these are best. You be best at being you and what your talents and skills and gifts have are, are about. This tells us to look for new alternatives. If you have been working at a small business, let's say, like the fellow with the dog leashes, look for an alternative that will lead to expansiveness. Something you've missed. Spider is reminding you that either get to it and develop the service or products that will benefit all of humanity. That's your special, your special vision. If it's music, write a song, write a bunch of them, write an album. If it's painting, develop a theme, do all the seasons, all the different breeds of cats you know, whatever it is. This card, Spider, is very, very primitive. It is the beginning. And like spokes on a wheel, it is the center that makes it spin. So it is important for you to draw from past visions and dreams and take a look at where you really are. Remember the sentence that was specific that I have drawn on many times. You are entangled in the web of your own illusion about who you really are. So this card being drawn tells you to snap out of it, start creating, get those dreams going, And it also has the word congratulations here. This is a card that has a lot of promise to it and is has come to you and me because it knows that we will get the job done. Congratulations. Something you have created has borne fruit. So look around. Draw your inspiration from others and from your own life and get at it. We need you. Thank you for watching.